Yeah, hi. Um, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have probably never thought about this or maybe not even heard about this, but it's true. I've done the research, and what I want to tell you, what I want people to know is that the food you eat dictates the kind of bacteria that live on your teeth and it doesn't matter how much you brush or floss or rinse your mouth you're always going to have bacteria in your mouth that live on your teeth now if you are a meat eater which most people are 95 percent of the population are meat eaters this means the kind of bacteria that live on your teeth are the flesh eating kind in other words it's the type of bacteria that like to eat meat so what I'm saying is not that you're going to eat meat and die the next day but what I am saying is that if you eat meat you are going to have that type of bacteria that like to eat flesh on your living on your teeth which means that eventually you will get heart disease because the bacteria will eat away at your heart now another thing that you may not know is that the same kind of bacteria also eat away at your gums they call it receding gums 95 percent of the population have some kind of receding gums now dentists will tell you that oh you're brushing with a hard you know your toothbrush is too hard or you're brushing too hard or you're not brushing enough you're not flossing enough or um, whatever you know you're, you're you're aging or whatever but that's bullshit I don't buy into that it's just they tell you these things because they don't really have the answers and they can't really come right out and tell you oh well you have bacteria you know living on your teeth that like to you know eat away at your gum line they can't tell you that because you would like, probably freak out or you wouldn't know how to handle your brain wouldn't know how to you know process the information correctly you know um, but if you know what I'm talking about and you can process this information it'll give you just one more reason why you should be vegan and when you're vegan that means the type of bacteria that live on your on your teeth will also be vegan which means they won't be the meat eating kind however just because you stop eating meat one day doesn't mean all of a sudden these flesh eating you know meat eating bacteria that live on your teeth are all of a sudden gonna all die and go away you know they're still gonna want to eat so they'll still try to eat away at your gum line to get their meat because they're not gonna turn you know these these bacteria aren't going to turn uh, vegan they're going to still want to eat meat because that's the type of bacteria that they are so what you need to do is make sure that you know when you go vegan or if you're vegan and you, if you used to eat meat you want to make sure that you drink a lot of water um, water seems to um, wash them away I'm not sure if it's the water or the oxygen in the water but water helps and you know other than that I guess laser treatment but um, again 95 percent of the population do have receding gums and only about five percent of the population are vegan now like I said you would have to be a lifelong vegan in order probably not to have these flesh eating bacteria on your teeth however just because you don't eat meat doesn't mean you can't get these flesh eating bacteria these meat eating bacteria on your teeth because they also are in manure and so if you're eating something that came out of the ground that got contaminated with um, you know E. coli some kind of bacteria that came from animals then you could also get this um, meat eating type of bacteria on your teeth now there are so many let me just tell you this there are so many different varieties and and breeds of bacteria that they don't even have names for them all because there's just trillions of them and um, yeah but that's one more good reason to be vegan in case you just you know you care about your your teeth um, and your heart and your health and everything else so take care